caused so much controversy in the second leg of Queen Elizabeth's state visit, went ahead as planned Thursday night with a notable exception, her speech. With her spokesman scrambling to once again reiterate that the cancellation of her speech was not an embarrassment nor an inconvenience, the Queen gave no outward appearance that she had been troubled by the situation. While a monsoon almost washed out her visit to a temple earlier in the day, one of her senior advisors dismissed the events of the past few days as Levite. He said the Queen was thoroughly happy, fit and strong, and the visit was not a failure. Watching a performance of Indian classical dance, the Queen appeared to be enjoying herself. Despite the diplomatic clouds that have hung over her visit, the fact that she has been invited to India in its 50th anniversary year is significant. Neither Britain nor India can escape their colonial history, and there will always be some sensitive issues between them. But throughout her tour, there has been genuine warmth for the British monarch.